I thought it would be fun to try out some over-the-counter anabolic enhancing supplements that I've heard of. So I got four or five of them. I have four of them here with me today. I've tried each of them for two months straight, not together, but one at a time. I've never taken anything to increase testosterone ever in my life. I'm a long distance runner, so I don't really care how big I am. The first one I tried is sold at Walmart and pretty much everywhere. Even my grocery store has it. It's about $9.99. It is Six Stars Testosterone Booster. The active ingredients in this are boron and rhodiola. The next one I heard about was uh, on a show called More Plates, More Dates. Also, Joe Rogan talked about it. It's uh, terkesterine or terkesterone. The next one I tried is Tunga Ali. I heard this talked about on Andrew Huberman's podcast, and he gets pretty deep into the science of things. So I thought if anyone knows what they're talking about, he does. Uh, he seemed pretty well convinced that this increases testosterone levels. It's Tunga Ali. The next was in my Amazon suggestions, and in fact, I bought all five of the supplements I'm going to talk about on Amazon. The next one is Ecdisterone. This was about $39.99. It was the most expensive of all of them. They range from about $9.99 to $39.99. Okay, the first one. This started working pretty fast, actually. I noticed that I had a lot of energy from this. I don't know about testosterone levels, but I did have a lot of energy and I feel like it made me less hungry. And so I lost some weight on it. And in fact, I couldn't take it after 12. I took two tablets twice a day, two times in the morning at about 4 a.m. and two at about noon. If I took it after noon, I had trouble sleeping. And it could have been from the boron or the rhodiola. So I, I did take uh, rhodiola and boron separately, and I found that the rhodiola probably had more to do with the boost in energy than did the boron. The boron is supposed to be more anabolic enhancing. I didn't really notice too big of a difference from boron taking it completely by itself, but I noticed a pretty big boost in energy uh, after taking rhodiola by itself. The next one I tried was terkesterone, and I think this was 20 something dollars on Amazon. I took one capsule twice a day. I think on workout days, I took two capsules in the morning and one in the afternoon or something like that. I did notice my chest start to pop on this a little bit. Um, all of this is pretty much anecdotal, so take it for what it is. But uh, I did, I did experience, I think, some gains in the gym on this. In fact, it was pretty significant. I, I wouldn't say that I, I think I experienced it. That's kind of putting it lightly. I definitely had my my chest popping on this, and uh, my arms were a little bit more swole uh, longer in the day. The next one I tried was Tonga Ali. This sucker right here I think had pretty much the same effect that uh, the tercesterone did on me. I didn't notice much of a difference so I took uh, tercesterone for two months, stopped taking it entirely, and then I took this for two months. I took uh, two capsules per day, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. On workout days I took two in the morning. So not on workout days I took 1200 milligrams of Tonga Ali and on workout days I took anywhere between 1,800 and 2,400 milligrams. I definitely experienced the difference with both of these products. That was not just in my head. It was it was a pretty big difference, actually. I didn't notice really much weight loss or any energy improvements. And actually, the, the feeling that I got from this, if I did get a slight boost in energy, it was like towards the end of my working day, around 4 or 5 p.m. I wasn't quite as tired as I was. I experienced the benefits of this um, for about a month or so, and then I guess I just got used to it. So I don't, I don't know. I didn't really stop taking any supplements, any anabolic enhancing supplements for a long period of time. I just kind of transitioned from one to the other immediately. So I couldn't tell you if if they just stopped working or if I just got used to them in my mind. Anyway, so it is recommended if you read some forums on them, it's recommended that you cycle off them. There's another one I got that you do not have to cycle off of. We'll talk about that last time. So the next one we're going with, the bottle's pretty intimidating. It says roids on it. Um, this is the Ecdisterone. 
I'm, I'm sure I'm pronouncing all of the names incorrectly. So I took two of these, uh, 600 milligrams in total each day. I took um, three of them on workout days, which means I had about 900 milligrams on the days that I worked out. The thing about this one is, so I did experience um, my chest and my arms uh, popping. In fact, I think I got a little bit more swole on this than the other two. That's that's not for sure though, but what is for sure is that either my appetite changed or I don't, but I definitely lost more weight. So I, I was looking a little bit more swole on this. I gained, uh, I gained about four pounds overall. Um, I, I weighed myself in the morning on an empty stomach naked after I urinate and uh, first thing in the morning as soon as I wake up to try and get it as consistent as possible. And I was about four pounds heavier on average uh, with this. Um, but I also lost fat for sure. I lost fat. There's no, no question about it. Um, so these two got a little bit swole. This one got a little bit swole. Possibly, possibly more. I don't know. But for sure, um, I lost more weight on this. I lost fat with no change at all to my diet or my exercise program. By the way, for, for any of these five products that we're going to talk about, no change at all to my exercise program or my diet. And I am obsessive compulsive about my diet and program usually, but even more so during this time, just for the sake of the experiment, I wanted to see um, which product was would do the most for me. And I've never taken any... Um, I've never taken any illegal anabolic enhancing supplements. I've never taken anything to increase testosterone ever in my life. Um, I just the last year was the first time I'd say I started about started taking these products about ten months ago, just for the sake of experimentation. I'm a long distance runner, so I don't really care how big I am, um, but I do have this weird thing where I have to try every product. <laughs> um, so I've been I've been doing this for about 20 years now, um, maybe a little more than 20 years. Where I've taken just about if you walk into Vitamin World or Vitamin Shop or GNC, uh, don't go to GNC, don't go to GNC. I've taken pretty much everything on the shelf, e even a lot, some of the female supplements. I don't even know why, but um, I've just been really curious about supplements and nutrition. So I've tried just about every single thing there was, and in fact, uh, 15 years ago. I think it was, I think it was 15 years ago, I worked at a vitamin shop uh, just for that purpose. I spent my entire, it was my second job, and so it was like an evening job for me. I spent my entire paycheck on supplements. I continue that to this day as something of an adult who has more money to spend on supplements. I've tried every single one of them for uh, sleep, for longevity, anti-aging, stamina, energy, uh, appetite suppressants supplements that boost your appetite uh, literally i've tried just about everything um so this is just continuing the practice okay the last one here is tribulus or tribulus i uh took two of these i took one in the morning and one in one at noon um i had about the same benefits as that from this as i did uh these two i felt a little bit more swole i um a little bit more stamina in the gym on workout days. That's about it. The forums on this suggest that you do not have to cycle off of this, whereas the Tonga Ali and the Turkesterone, they recommend cycling off of for a period of time. Um, however, I took this for, for two months, and actually it was more like three months. I noticed, well, actually, so I did... I did go off of all supplements for a couple of weeks when I went to Ukraine and then I came back Well, I ran out when I was there. I came back and this was next on my list to try as it turned out. I don't remember where in the chain of, of these other supplements that this fell, but it was somewhere in there. And so I tried this and I noticed a, a pretty good boost. Now it could have just been because like I was um, down on everything, all supplements. I took this and I I, rec I recognized a, a change. It was uh, it was not just in my head. I'm pretty sure the the change was enough so where I I realized that it was 
it was really doing something. But I only experienced that for maybe four weeks. Um, and then after that, I don't know that it stopped working or I just got used to it uh, in my head. And so it wasn't like such a transition. It wasn't a big difference. So to recap, I got the most energy boost out of this. This is probably the best bang for the buck. $9.99 or $8.88 somewhere. Um, anyways, just a huge, but there are fewer, you get, you get less out of it. There are fewer servings. You get about 15 days out of it. If you take two a, a day, if you take two twice a day, you're going to get about 15 days out of it. So it's really more like $20 a month. But even still at $20 a month, it's the cheapest of all the supplements. So uh, the most stamina and energy I got from this, the greatest impact on me on my anabolic hormones, I think, I got from this here, the ecdysterone. And these three, and these three, pretty much the same. I got, uh, got some gains, I think. And I felt a bit swole. My chest was popping but that's kind of the beginning and end of it. And I do think it's necessary to cycle off of them for a period of time and then get back on. So, toodaloo.